Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and today I want to do a brief shoulder evaluation of Sam. Sam is 19 years old, and thank you, by the way, for doing this for us, uh, yeah, to help course. educate everybody out there. Um, Sam's been having some pain for approximately how long now? A few months. A few months. No specific mechanism of injury. She, um, she is a thrower, a throwing athlete, and but is right-handed. Uh, but this has been bothering her also, and so she has Ehlers-Danlos, and... So hyperlaxity of all of her joints, she's quite lax in the shoulder, um, and it just continues to bother her. She's undergone some conservative treatment, and it just, it, she has episodes where it kind of, you have a flare up and it hurts for three, four days, it kind of gets better, and then it flares up again, and it just really is not resolving. So I want to just point out a few things. Um, we're going to go through some active range of motion. I'll do a couple special tests. We'll talk about what we think the diagnosis is and then uh, where we go from here. So the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to demonstrate how much motion you have. So let's go ahead straight up over top. Good, and back down, not too painful. How about out to the side like this, bring the palms up overhead. Now bring the hands behind the head. So pretty good motion overall, and now down behind the back. And that's not too bad. Okay, so I then want to check her strength, so I'm gonna check her flexion here. I want you to hold tight. She's offering good resistance. We're gonna bring her out into abduction. Hold here, don't let me push down. Good resistance. We're gonna go down here. Don't let me push your hand in. Great, so our external rotators are looking good. Now pull it in toward your belly for internal rotators and also a bear hug test. I want you to hold there. Good, I'm sorry, that's a belly press test. This is the bear hug test. Hold here, don't let me pull it away. And no problem with any of those, right? No. Okay, we're going to do a little empty can to see if her rotator cuff is bothering her some. Hold right here. Not too bad. No. Now I'm going to take her over here. We're going to do an O'Brien sign. So we're going to bring you right there. I want you to hold that. Hold tight. Yeah. That, that hurts quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to keep the arm in the same position. We're going to turn the palm up. I want you to resist me now. Any problem with that? Not as bad as when the no. thumb is down. So a positive O'Brien sign. Um, the other thing that we've noticed is that she has good rotator cuff integrity. She has great range of motion. She has no capsular tightness. Um, she actually has a little bit of laxity in the shoulder. Okay, when I assess her this way. We're gonna put her down on her back now. So we're gonna go right down this way. And I'm gonna do a little clunk test with her. So I'm gonna take the arm out like this. We're gonna externally rotate her. And I'm going to take that humeral head and I'm going to put a little compression in there and I'm going to externally rotate her and I'm also going to push the humeral head anterior as I do that, okay? So we're going to do this and that's painful yeah. right there, okay? Now if I take her and move her, I also get a very definitive click in that shoulder. Right there, get a little bit. And when she does get the click, it's very painful. So we're not going to keep going until we get it, but we did reproduce it several times a while ago. So with that being said, I'm going to let you sit right up. So she does have a lot of shoulder laxity. I'm suspicious that she has a slap lesion um, or a, a labral tear that is causing this pain to continue. So at this point, I think that an orthopedic consult and uh, you know further diagnostic imaging will help to identify this. I think your rotator cuff is in good shape. And we've done a lot of other diagnostic uh, tests today and, and subjective questioning that show that she doesn't have any sign of radiculopathy. Uh, she has no AC joint issues or anything like that. So we're driving in the direction of a labral tear and uh, we will just kind of see where that takes us. If you liked today's video, uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe and tell your friends about us. And uh, if you have any questions or comments you'd like to make, just leave them in the comments section of the video and I'd be more than happy to get back in touch with you. Thanks.